Shortly after this photo was taken, April Starr was diagnosed with vitiligo, a disorder that causes a loss of pigmentation in her skin. And as the condition progressed, so did the bullying. But today, April Starr has a message for everyone who wants to stare at someone who looks different. Take a look. Take a look at this picture. Take a look at this picture. At five years old, I was diagnosed with vitiligo, which causes me to lose color in my skin. I've been bullied and teased most of my life, and that breaks me down. I can't walk the streets without kids pointing and staring. I have been called names like a cow and a dog just for the way I look. I found out that people who were supposed to be my friends were laughing and talking about me behind my back, and that made me feel alone. Being bullied is so awful, and I can't believe people can be so mean. I used to cry myself to sleep because I felt like nobody knew what it was like to be different. One day, I decided to turn things around. I refuse to let kids call me names anymore because I'm better than that. If you're out there and have been teased or bullied, I want you to use my life as an inspiration. When I look in the mirror, I see a strong, independent young lady. I'm coming on The Maury Show because I'm a survivor of bullying. I'm April Starr and I'm stronger than the people who bullied me. And I hope others can draw from my strength. Everybody welcome April Starr. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Look at you, all grown up. Have a seat right here. Look at you. You had to make a decision. I'm going to stand up for those kids who are bullied. And you said no more, right? Exactly. And you picked out something that gave you the confidence, that gave you the self-respect, that you could overcome everything. And that was modeling. Exactly. You're a model. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've appeared. I mean, you've already arrived. You've appeared <laughs> in that Essence magazine. Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> Now think about, think about your self-esteem when you see your picture in a magazine like that. It was an amazing opportunity for me because I love, like, I love that picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fave, huh? Yeah, I love that picture. <laughs> when did you think you began to notice that you were different? I have to say third grade because people would look at me differently and I was, had just been diagnosed with vitiligo, so it was just like the stairs and you know, just the different, like the name calling. What name calling? I'd been called like a cow. They would say that I was a Dalmatian dog. A Dalmatian dog? Yeah. Oh. By the way, uh, April's mother, Yindra, and her father David are in the audience and they've been by their daughter's side all this time. So all this happened, I, I think, when it started when she was like five or six years old in terms of the vitiligo. What's it like for a father to know that their daughter is being bullied. It's unbelievable what she would come tell me. I wouldn't want any one child to go through what my daughter has gone through, but what I've done was I inspire her as much as she's inspired me. I, I motivate her, I tell her she's gorgeous every moment I can. She's a beautiful child. Don't worry about what I'm saying. So, so you recommend to parents that's the way to handle it with your kids? I mean, bullying is, is minor if you teach your children that it's just words, it's just air. You come home, you know, your father says you're the most gorgeous little princess, you know, and things like that, but <laughs> don't let the bully, until, also to anyone that is a bully, right. that's, a, that's an issue with yourself. You have a self-esteem issue. Right. You have something that you're trying to find wrong with yourself, but you can't, so you point at someone else, flaws. Welcome everyone to my official YouTube channel. The lie detector test has determined you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to get daily updates, watch full segments, and see original content. Until next time, America, see you on YouTube.